Nityanandam, this is Shri Tiyam, Maya Titananda and welcome to NTV News from Nityananda Dhyanapidam, Vidal. It's Friday, September 30th, 2011. The headlines. In Bhagavad Gita Satsang, Swamiji spoke on the science of soul and dissolving of suffering. Greatest gift to the humanity from the Vedic tradition is concept of soul. I can say science of soul. Celebration of Devi and Venkateshwara Utsavam continues. Report on Navaratri festival celebration from Malaysia, Ohio and Singapore. Now for the main news. In today's talk on Bhagavad Gita chapter 2 verse 29 and 30, Swamiji explains the greatest wisdom of the Vedic tradition, the science of soul. The soul compares with our individual lives as the ocean compares with a village well. Human biomemory coded within the body experiences only two signals, those of love and fear. When we take the decision to decode emotions such as grief, down to these two signals, our attitude changes and we no longer receive the fear signal, even fear of death. As we explore this Nityatva, signs of eternity, we dissolve our suffering into the ocean of the soul. All your engram, all your suffering, all your conflicts, everything is like a small salt dal. It can just disappear in this ocean. Blessed are those who knows the technique of dissolving all components of them into the ocean of the knowledge. Your capacity, please understand, your capacity is unlimited. What you believe as your capacity, if you just prepare your body, whole world is your house, you can live anywhere you want. Bio memory of human being can experience only two signals. One is love, another one is fear. That's all. Bhagavan's message in this whole chapter can be reduced to two words. One, the concept or the truth of Nityam. Another one, instruction, Shochitu Marhasi. Do not grieve. When my mission becomes your mission, you just completely become me. If you just melt into me, only one component of you dissolves into me. The translation says, O Bharata, the indweller that is in all these imperfect bodies is everlasting. Therefore, do not lament for all the elements. Living as a mortal person has lot of ups and downs. The spectrum in which you are living is too low. It is the third day of Navaratri festival. In Dhyana Pidamasham, we are celebrating Devi, manifestation of feminine energy, Utsam, together with Venkateshwara Utsam. Swamiji beautifully explains this joint Utsam in the following report. Navaratri is the time the whole India is in festival mood. There is no other festival which is celebrated by whole India other than Navaratri. And this is the time even the Pitadibadis, Sannyasis decorate their throne and sit in the throne and conduct Darbar. Blessing people and guiding the seekers. So from today we will be having officially nine days darbar. It's like a whoever comes and asks for whatever boon is granted, blessings are showered, teachings are given. Usually this is the time the Swamis also spend their time in one place. See in the Vedic tradition there is something called Chaturmasya from the Guru Purnima to Vijayadasami. They stay in one place. 
they don't travel anywhere so this last 10 days of their chaturmasya four months of stay it's a rainy season in those days last 10 days from all over the world people get come and take their blessings so next day to navaratri egadasi they start the travel again in other news the state president of nityananda dhyanapidam dr nitya sarvananda a resident of tumanguruchi near namakkal had filed nomination for the municipal councillor post on tuesday 27th september dr nitya sarvananda who spent almost 8 years at the nityananda dhyanapidam said that his physical health and peace of mind was restored through involvement in spiritual activities and that he wanted to give back to the society reported the new indian express international news let us see how is navaratri festival getting celebrated in malaysia first day started with guru homa followed by the evening abhishegam to goddess devi then chanting of durga ashtotram was done while performing the archana of kumkum to devi the alankar adornment of devi was done to shri bala tripura sundari where devi was decorated in a form of pretty young girl all those present was amazed with devi's divine graceful look and received her blessings the grand celebration of navaratri continues for the second day at malaysia ashram much to the joy of people in the ashram Another special day as Goddess Devi is worshipped as Annapurni, the Goddess of Nourishment. The Alankar done to Devi was Shakambri, where Devi is transformed into a Goddess Annapurni with vegetables, fruits and flowers. Actually, the name Shakambri comes from Sakam joined with the root Bri. Saka, vegetables or food and root Bri to nourish. It was much to the adornment of all people who attended the celebrations. The chanting of Annapurna, Ashtotra, Sadhanamavalli was done to Goddess Devi with all devotees chanted together with their full devotion. The day concluded with final offering of Mahaprasad, food offering to all those present. Let us go to the Ohio Temple and Singapore Yogam Center to see how they celebrate navaratri festival Singapore Centre will have Kumkuma Archana to Devi Raja Rajeshwari in the evening. We will keep you updated with the all activities concerning Navaratri festival. One announcement. Life Bliss Program Level 1 Teacher Training is going to be conducted at Salem on October 2nd. And that's all from us for tonight. Before we end our news, let's hear a quote from Swamiji. A quantum leap in consciousness is the real goal of enlightenment. Thank you for joining us and tune in for tomorrow's updates on NTV Nityananda.